Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a space weather news update. Uh, long overdue, Monday, August 29th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time 2022. Now, we've been away at the Crestone Energy Fair while the sun has been getting very active. Now, before we left, AR-3088 was shooting off some flares, and there was a minor G1 geomagnetic storm watch while over the weekend. And certainly, we had impacts from multiple uh, CMEs here. I can see one, two, three jumps here where we could have been hit by multiple events. And I'm talking about um, multiple M flares that we've had. Let's go take a look at the telemetry here. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M flares over the last 48 hours. Those are just the facts. And some of these M flares are arriving at Earth now. Now, we're also waiting for a coronal hole stream but just moments ago, we had a double boom from that spot as it turned around the limb. One of these is significant enough to make impact on Earth. None of it is significant enough to, to bring us into geomagnetic storm, which is good news. So let's take a look to see what uh, Solarham has to say um, about the new flares. AR3088 is saying, so long for now, with a moderately strong M6.7, peaking at 1619 UTC on my birthday. A coronal mass ejection is almost certain from this of the first of two booms. And we have the two booms here for you. So let's just play this through so we can look at these booms. And there they go off the limb. So watch the timestamp here. Another boom shooting off here. The sun has been very active. And the final boom there on the 29th. So here we are at the 28th. We're looking at the 28th and the 29th. Here's the building, M flare, followed by second M flare. And then we have another flare, M flare shooting off the north. Boom! And then watch this final M flare shoot out right there. So, very active sun we're watching. Now, the beauty is that there is not going to be a lot of ge uh, geo-effective stuff coming from this flare. Let's move this forward a few steps just to give you a view of that. We're over here at the Soho Movie Maker, where I just showed you a few days ago how to take control of the data. It's amazing, the power of the sun and what's been going on since I left. Multiple M flares, the biggest being an M8.6 solar flare at AR3088 that occurred on the 29th today at 11.07 UTC. Now, this was already around the rim, uh, the limb here. So or just at the limb. So if we actually had this backed up a little bit, it would have registered potentially as an X flare. So this is one sunspot we want to keep a close eye on. Remember, active region 3088 as we move forward. This won't be around for another two weeks, the other side, but we have limb flares. Now located behind the west limb, active region 3088 continues to churn out moderately strong solar flares, including a rapid M8.6 flare at 1107 UTC, August 29th, then an M4.7 at 1857. There was all, and that's what we just watched there on the telemetry from C2. Uh, there was also an M flare in progress at 1630 UTC, which we showed you the end of on the Soho Movie Maker. So... Just a very active sun, and I know a lot of you have been watching the sun or, and are worried about things that are happening, so let's watch them all in real time here. Boom, boom. There's going to be a boom up here, a couple booms down here, boom in here, and then a final boom as we reach the limb. Right there and there. That's the double boom, and then a subsequent final boom right there. So huge amounts of activity. This new sunspot region right here, which is Earth-facing, that one could be a doozy. So let's take a look at the latest here on the disk. That's a big spot. It's a big spot array. There's like a dozen tiny spots melding together in one magnetic nightmare. Now, if you're over here at solarham.net, in order to look at the sunspots, you're going to need to just come over here and find where it says sunspot summary. You see where I'm circling that. Click on that, and it's going to give you the major sunspots. Now, the only major one we have is Active Region 3089. Now, just a few days before I left, there was a sunspot on the sun that had 
the incorrect magnetism. It wasn't left to right, it was perpendicular to that, it was north to south. And we're seeing some of that here where we have positive and negative mixing in very bizarre ways, which gives it the, belta, the beta delta classification, uh, which is one of the more dangerous classifications for X flares. As you see here that they're showing a 10% X flare potential, 25% M and 65% C for this active region, which is gonna be earth facing for the next several days. So we're gonna keep a close eye on this, but based on what we know on the history of this sun and what it's been doing over the last several months, there shouldn't be any major geomagnetic activity coming out of the sun for another week or so. So this could be a shift in the pattern, and it certainly looks like a shift in the pattern to me based on how many M flares have occurred here. And we can see that activity just ramp up, stay up in M range now for almost 48 hours. And now we have this new sunspot to worry about, active region 3089, which is beta delta. Beta Delta class is one of the most dangerous for X flare potential, and it's going to be earth facing for three days. The good news is it's just a conglomeration of smaller spots, not a big spot, not in my opinion, a spot that would be earth changing. So there is the active region we're talking about. It doesn't look like any, anything significant, but we'll watch it grow through the last 24 hours here. Watch it turn around and becoming more active. As most of the energy is shooting off of from this spot, now this one can take its place for the new activity. Lots going on, on the, in the corona there. Multiple M flares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least in the last 36 hours. Hours of powers, and that's a boom to knowledge. It feels good to be back. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a world where we predicted seven years ago that the sun is gonna set us back into the, well, it's going to end the empire. You're all watching. And we want to bring you up to speed to what's happening, give you peace of mind. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the effects of the sun in future podcasts, as well as a new paper coming out, a novel Bayesian. This is a statistical analysis approach for disentangling solar and geomagnetic field influences on radionucleotide production rates. Now, for the layman, that means climate change. So this is a statistical approach for disentangling solar and geomagnetic field influences on the climate. And we're going to be doing an expose on that tomorrow night, potentially over at Magnetic Reversal News. So thanks for tuning in. The sun has become quite active. We're keep, keeping a close eye on active region 3089 as the sun has been banging off M flares like nobody's business. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors and our Patreons for supporting this channel and the work we do. It's why we bring you this instead of going to bed after driving hours and hours. Because this is the news you need to know. You need to know. And that's a boom to knowledge. Be safe. We love you.